everyone, since it's February, the month of Valentine's Day, I'd like to have this show to focus on what is love. During Valentine's Day, people around the world cuddle up with their loved one, and single people hope to find someone just in time to celebrate this happy love day. It's a special day for so many because after all, it's so nice to connect with your significant other to feel complete in February. In this show, I will share the secret that makes love special and allows it to make you feel as if you can shoot for the moon with it. But before I begin, make sure to like and subscribe for more work-life balance tips that power your long-term success. What is so special about love? Well, just like all the Valentine's heart-shaped love, love comes directly from the heart. Did you know that the heart is the first organ to form in our bodies and the last one to stop functioning when we die? The heart is not just for love, but it is an important part of our body's internal system that keeps us alive. Yes, the heart is the place where all your love resides inside of you. And when that certain someone comes right in front of you, that's when it starts to bump, bit a bump, bump, bump. Have you ever heard of someone say, self-love is the best love? What does that mean anyway? Well, some say that love is being able to take really good care of yourself with positive thoughts, feelings, and, and actions actions that allow you to appreciate yourself. These activities allow your heart to know that you care for yourself and your body as a whole. And the more that you do this in an unconditional way, the more you will attract from others who believe and treat themselves in the same way. If you and your body understand how to love each other, you'll be unstoppable. The positive energy brewing up inside of you will attract even more positive energy towards you. When you love yourself in the most complete way, only then will you be able to find someone who loves you the same way. There's a misconception that comes out of movies that has somehow made most people believe it to be true. And this misconception is when you meet someone, you fall in love with someone, then it should feel that way for eternity. Well, the truth is that when you fall in love with someone, your body has a tendency to release specific set of hormones that trigger certain feelings inside of you automatically. Firstly, whenever there is an attraction to the other person, the opposite sex releases a heavy amount of hormones because they long to be with the other person. Men are masculine, have testosterone. Women are feminine, is the estrogen. These two hormones are specific for each gender. And in, in a healthy case, most men do not produce estrogen and most women do not produce testosterone. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone, and when released in the bloodstream, it makes a person feel good and they get so excited about the times. Pheromone, which are odorless chemicals produced by humans, are detected by the nose of the other person. They could also be sensed by you. It also plays a role in the lust phase because it helps initiate the desire for the opposite person. Scientists after several studies have found evidence that following hormones, it's a play for the process of falling in love. Adrenaline is a hormone that allows your heart to be faster and stronger. It gives you a surge of energy and it focuses your attention solely onto your potential mate. It can also heighten feelings of anxiety or nervousness and butterflies in the stomach. Adrenaline is the fight or flight hormone that prepares you for what is to come next. Something for which you and your whole body needs to be ready for. Hence the term adrenaline rush, right? 
Dopamine is another hormone that is also released in response to love. During the lust phase, dopamine levels increase, which may essentially lead to an addiction to that person that you desire. High levels of dopamine are also associated with non-repulfrin, which is another chemical messaging that increases excitement and focuses on another individual. Serotonin is a hormone which acts as a neural transmitter and plays a role in maintaining mood balance, appetite, sleep, memory, sexual desire, and sexual function. During the attraction phase, serotonin levels decrease, which can result in sleepless nights. Low levels of serotonin have also been linked to individuals with obsessive compulsion disorder. Serotonin is also known as your body's happy hormone. Whenever you are in a good or happy mood, the body releases loads of serotonin. And lastly, vasopressin is another hormone released after physical touch that initiates the desire to stay with that particular individual and develops a strong emotional attachment. This hormone makes the other person want to be around you all the time. In this phase of love, also called the attachment phase of love, there is a feeling of calmness, security, and a desire to protect one another emotionally as a union with comfort. With the attachment phase, it doesn't really exist very long in the relationship phase. There are several bonds that this particular hormone helps with. That is a family and also as friends. So when you feel that you're in love with someone, your brain and your emotions have taken control of you what does this mean? Well, BBC report lists that these particular feelings are natural and they last for about two years. So what does this mean? Have fun with your relationship and see how things go. Preferably in one or two years, you'll know if you just still got it or like the Righteous Brothers state in a famous song about love, you've lost that loving feeling. Keep us posted on your experience with this crazy thing called love. Update us at the comments screen below and let us know how you're doing. Until the next time we meet, be beautiful and be well. Bye.